Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So today has been a very long day. I've had my sister's truck, but I didn't go anywhere. Um, partly because you know I didn't want to make I didn't want to use her gas, so I didn't want to have to put more gas in the truck. Um, although if I had actually run errands or anything like that, I would put gas in there. But I'm trying to save my money. So I just sat at home and knit and watched YouTube and napped and hung out at home. Um, so it's been a pretty mellow day. I did get um, quite a bit of knitting done. And, um, okay, there's a neighbor going down the street on a lawnmower drinking a beer. Gotta love living here. Um, anyway, so it's just been a nice day to relax. I'm, I needed the day to relax and to not to do anything. So, cause tomorrow we're back to work moving my, um, a load of my sister's stuff. Her friend's not going to be able to help cause he's got to work. So it's going to be just what we can get out of her house. Um, and I told her I'm leaving my house at nine in the morning. So I'll be getting to where she is between 9.30, 9.45, closer to 9.30. Um, and then it'll take us an hour to get to Seminole, and then we'll stop at Sonic for some ice and a soda. And then it'll, from there, it'll take another 20 minutes or so to get out to her house. So, I've got a bit of driving before we can actually get out there to start packing. And then, both of us, you know, it's hot, and going up and down the stairs makes both of us dizzy. And I got to realizing the other day that I haven't been on my blood pressure medicine. My doctor gave me a month prescription for it with no refills. <coughs> so, I haven't been on it since sometime in July at the latest. But I'm thinking, because the last couple times I've had my blood pressure taken, it's been fine. And, and especially with me getting a lot of, like, the, the orthostatic hypotension symptoms kicking in again. It's like, I'm pretty sure I don't need to be taking that blood pressure medicine right now. And I've got a blood pressure cuff, but I'm not check. I, mean, I haven't checked it myself in a couple... Um, in probably about a week. I know they'll check it on Monday when I go for ECT. So I'm not having any headaches or anything like that. So I'm not that worried. And the doctor wasn't that worried about my blood pressure to start with. So but anyway, as far as knitting, let's see. I got the Harry Potter square washcloth done. I'm not impressed with the design of this one. This is the diary, and you can see the outline, I mean, like a rectangle in there. It's not like they could have, I don't think they could have done anything different with the design. Just the diary is just a hard one to, to do anyway. But, you know, at least it's done. I'm just still kind of disappointed with it. But, you know, it's all good. And then I started another knit bee um, just so that I have something to knit when I to knit on when I'm at ECT waiting you know for my turn to go back so this is the yarn that I just got the the illusion double knitting that Corinne sent me I believe it's Corinne so I got started so just a little bit there and I've knit on it some but I've kind of been a little bit lazy today, not working on it that much, but, you know, I don't really, I don't, not on a timeline, so I can take my time. And I got a crochet magazine in the mail. It was just a crochet, you know, six, it is 16 on-trend ma and mandala, mandala designs. And I like that they, we find one, they rate them. 
if they are, you know, how hard they are. And none of them are rated a one or a two. The easiest one I think they have is a three. And I'm kind of tempted to try one. But even looking at the ones rated size, rated number three, makes me, you know, has some stitches that I don't know yet and I'm not sure about. But I'm trying to find. Do, 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 do. Uh, this one. Yeah, see, they've got a red. Number three is listed as easy. And it still has new stitches that I would have to learn, which, you know, I mean, I, I need to challenge myself that I would just would think that learning a brand new stitch wouldn't be on something that's considered easy. So, but. I have that that I might work on um, a mandala at some point. I don't think I have any. I've got Karen cakes. I don't have any of the mandala yarn, so I'd have to get that. But the there's one in there that uses red heart yarn that looks like a nice simple one that I um, might be a good one to start with. So, and I've got. A yarn swap that's going out on Monday. Got it all packed up. Get the box nice and full. This is my the box that my toilet paper comes in. Which it's clean toilet paper. So but I'm all for reusing boxes and and things, you know. Don't, I don't not much into this single-use stuff as I'm drinking out of a can, but cans can be recycled. So I've got that. We'll get we'll go to the, the post office on Monday, and I believe I have a package that so far the post office is showing will be delivered on Monday, but it gets delivered to the post office box. So I have that to look forward to, and then I've got some more stitch markers. I'm mailing off to someone else and that'll get those will get mailed on Monday as well. Quit eating that. There's part of my top okay my my living room floor the floor in the entire apartment minus the bathroom is fake hardwood. So it's like that not laminate or whatever but Anyway, there's a piece of it, a little tiny little strip coming up that both the cats have decided is a fun thing to chew on. And so I've got, I need to just go and get, put a little super glue and tap it and stick it down so that they don't chew it up. Because I really don't feel like having to call the landlord people and say, hey, look, my floorboard is wobbly again. Um, because I have nowhere to move the furniture for them to work on the couch or on, on the couch work on the floor so and it's just it's not wobbly in like like I'm in danger of falling through it's just you can tell that they didn't buy the highest quality you know wood or floor paneling so but you know as long as my cats don't chew it to pieces, it'll be fine. And I got a phone call earlier that I didn't answer the call because I didn't know who it was and I'm bad about Little Miss, it's Little Miss. Um, I'm bad about answering the phone if I don't know who it is. And so I didn't answer the phone and then I got voicemail and it was from Family Dollar and I had filled out applications online and calling me about a customer service position which is what I think they call their store clerks so it was after five when I got it and they said that the person on the voicemail said they wouldn't be back in the office until Monday so I'm gonna wait till Monday that gives me the weekend to think about it because 
I would be excited about it and want to go because I, I would like the idea of going back to work and earning money but at the same time I just paid the money to enroll in the you know, application fee to enroll at um, the career school and you know I need to figure out the placement test for that so it's I would definitely earn more money in medical billing than I would with um, working for Family Dollar, but I might qualify for benefits at Family Dollar that would be better dental care than, you know, what I already have, or what I'm going to have starting next month. So I don't know, so I've got, but I've got a couple days to think about it because I can't call them until Monday. So hopefully I'll have some clarity over the weekend, although I will definitely call Francis Tuttle again before I call Family Dollar. Um, I like Family Dollar and I don't know which location it was. If it was the location that's right down the street for me, that would, I would be even more willing to go there, but I don't remember what, you know, I can't, well, I've replied to several of them. I just don't know which one this one was. I tried googling the phone number and it didn't bring it didn't bring up any results. So, but anyway, I'm going to have a nice chill evening. Probably go to bed a little early. I didn't sleep well last night. Well, I slept okay from about ten thirty to three thirty, and then I just kind of napped and dozed a little bit from here here and there from then on. So, and then I took a nap. A very short nap earlier so I am still a little bit tired but I definitely need to get plenty of rest so that I have the energy and both the physical energy and the mental energy to deal with helping my sister move tomorrow so anyway I will see you guys tomorrow